Alright, so for today, we'll show to you how to update the firmware on the Gagos X to firmware 2.2. Although this one is already running 2.2, I'll still do this for demonstration purposes. You can see here that I have an external module here that is also a head tracker, but we will update the internal via this port. So, this this one that came from Cadex. This is your updater for the head tracker and this one is for your gimbal. So it basically does two things. Right? And also you'll need to use the 5 pin to 4 pin or 5 pole to 4 pole jack that came with the Gagos X. Okay. Now all you need to do is plug the 4 pin and to the connector on the updater. Make sure that this is already plugged to your computer. Then run the firmware. Alright, so this is the firmware for updating. And you also need to have an external power to your Gagos X. Then plug the 5 pin end of your jack to this port. Right? So now you have to select the proper uh, device port. So this is COM14 and start debugging. So here you can see the data. If you move the goggles, you see some movement also on the firmware, on the software rather. Right, then let's load the firmware. Although this one is already running 2.2, let's just flash it again. Okay, go to your um, firmware folder or software folder. Alright, firmware folder, select the 2.2, then hit the upgrade. So it just takes a couple of seconds to do that. Okay, so it says now firmware upgrade successful. It's done. So that's how quick you can update the firmware on the head tracking module. So now this is already running 2.2. Now next, you'll we'll try to update the gimbal firmware. Right, so moving on to updating the gimbal, actually you can use this 3.6 firmware from Cadex if you want to. Also, alternatively, you can use this firmware from Ocean Fay website, um, which has now a version 3.8. Either way, it should work uh, with the latest Cadex firmware which is 39.44.4 so for at the moment this gimbal is running 3.6 let's try to use a version 3.88 later so with that uh, we just have to prepare again your updater let's remove this jack that we used to update the head jack on the goggles and all you need to do is plug it on this side of your gimbal just like that okay uh, take note you don't need to power the VTX you only need to supply power to your gimbal so make sure that you get some lipo battery to run it or connect it to your flight controller right so the gimbal is now active powered so let's look for the um, Gimbal firmware in the gimbal folder, right? So, this is version 3.6, 3.8. Right? So, let's run the software. Okay. So, the first time you run the software, you'll get some uh, prompts or warnings, but just ignore it. Okay, so just the same, select the COM port then start debugging so here you can see that this is running version 3.6 at the moment and of course i'll see some movements on the uh, user interface whenever you try to move the gimbal itself okay so uh, at this point i haven't powered the goggles so we're just working with the head tracker itself okay now let's load the firmware click the open button find your 
um, holder for the gimbal okay so we're trying to load the version 3.8 that I have just downloaded from Ocean Fay so let's run 3.8 so here's the firmware folder here you can see this is version 3.8 now then hit the upgrade oops sorry so you can see here that it's currently updating and let's wait for it to finish so it shouldn't take a while so it says now here upgrade successful okay, so let's uh, zoom it out a bit right so you can click start debugging now this shows that it runs the version 3.8 at the bottom here okay let's move it a little bit here okay so if i move the gimbal you'll see that there's actual movement on the user interface just make sure that the you see this one the mode is set to m0 and the sensitivity here is set to positive 1 or 1.0 okay so that's required if you're going to use a version 39.44.4 set this channel to channel 1 and channel 1 the rest you can uh, copy or ignore it i think it doesn't matter right so let's stop debugging and set up the goggles and head tracker all together. Right, so now I've got the moonlight powered, also the uh, gimbal powered, also the goggles powered. Now you can see here on the screen that whenever I move the goggles, the head tracker is moving. Now to activate gimbal lock, all you need to do is press this down button here the 5d button press it towards you two times it will emit three whips and now it says on the screen gm lock here on the upper right gm lock here to deactivate it all you need to do is press that down button again the button towards you two times and now the gimbal is working as it is as it, as it should right so again let's try to do the gimbal lock currently the gimbal is facing to the right of the plane gimbal lock see it the gimbal moves in the direction parallel to the plane so facing forward so with gimbal lock active you can move your head without the, the gimbal moving Basically, it's perfect for takeoff and landings. Then I try to unlock it. So it now goes back to gimbal mode. Right? So essentially, with version 39.44.4, you can look at uh, some of the features here. Let's lock the gimbal first. Okay. Try to look at the menu. The device head tracking okay, so here I have set it to PTZ let's zoom it a bit okay, let's adjust the camera for, for a while okay so PTZ um, head tracking control axis so essentially you can actually disable one of the axes or all of them so let's try to unlock it first okay let's uh you need, you need to be outside the menu okay try to recenter so here you can see the plane is other uh, gimbal stabilizing but if you roll the goggles there are, there's no roll input on the head tracker see because of that gimbal or axis lock 
Okay, so that's how access works. So you disable one of your or the desired access that you don't want to be controlled by the head tracking. Okay, so again, let's try to disable the pan axis for this case. So now this becomes just a tilting gimbal. See, it tilts, but it does not respond to roll or yaw movements, only tilting. Okay. Again, you can enable them all or enable those axes that you want. So if you just want a pan and tilt axis, go to the head tracking head tracking control axis then let's just select pan and tilt okay I think the vtex is overhe overheating now but you see you get the idea that you can now select which one of those or you want to connect at uh, the control also uh, I forgot to include in this guide this is that you need to enable this locking shortcuts this enables the button control for the um, gimbal lock so by default it is disabled go to head tracking then head tracking um, tracking shortcuts turn it on this will give you a prompt you, you need to use 3.6 or higher if you want to use that GM lock feature and set the mode to M0 and sensitivity to 1 and use the 5D to control that access let me move this source turn off the moonlight because it's already overheating okay but you get the idea so if you want to use this button for controlling the GM lock you need to turn on that locking shortcut on okay so let's try that screen information on the GM lock okay so it should be appearing here so pressing the down button twice so disable it right so that's how it works